there, I'm Clifford Bates, and welcome once again to reading Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics. Today, we're continuing, uh, 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 we're finishing up last two ch today's chapter 11 of book three, continuing what we let, uh, it was the middle point of uh, the, 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 the re examination of, uh, of Sophosune or moderation. Um, uh, uh, last chapter, he kind of dealt with what what it deals with, but what it doesn't deal with as well, and, and, and kind of clarifying the scope of it, right? So let's continue. Let's continue with chapter 11, what he continues on Sophosune, the moderation, right? Uh, uh, and also its extreme, extremis licentiousness, right? Um, of the desires, then some to be common, right? That you share, right? Others in the uh, 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 Socratic and acquired. So therefore, this is. In other words, some are, desires are common and some are kind of, others are less common, you know, and they have to be, they, they're, and they often are acquired. For example, the desire for food is natural and it's common. For everyone who lacks it, des uh, 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 it desires dry or wet food, sometimes both. And as Homer asserts, one who is young and is in the bloom of one's youth desires the marriage bed. The 36 here is that Iliad 24 uh, verses 129, marriage bed, I mean sex. That's a metaphor that just, you know, desires mm -hmm. intercourse, right? So someone who is young and is in the bloom of youth desire, has an erotic desire, you know, desires the marriage bed. But beyond this, not everyone desires this or that sort of a, a, a thing, or the same thing, <clears throat> uh, that sort of thing, or the, even the same thing. So beyond these two desires, that is of food and sex, right? Uh, uh, erotic desires, food and sex, these two things are the things that are very common, right? But beyond this, not every desire, everyone desires this or that sort of thing or the same thing. Hence, the object of desire appears to be particularly our own. What we desire is particularly uh, uh, our own. And nevertheless, it, it has to do, it has at least something natural about it. For different things are pleasant to different people, and some things are more pleasant to all than just to any chance ones. In other words, some things are going to be more pleasurable to all people versus those, some just other, this Another, then another thing that is only pleasurable to some people, right? Um, so therefore, this is the point about this, is that at least something natural about it, too. <clears throat> that not everyone is going to... And the, the, the common pleasures are the things that we all share. But there's going to be other pleasures, bodily pleasures in that sense, that are in, specific and learned uh, that are not common and not, will, be, will not be shared by all. <clears throat> in the natural desires, then few people err. Ooh, interesting. In the natural desires, then few people err, and the only one direction, uh, and in only one direction, namely towards having too much. In other words, it's it's too much, too much. In natural desires, it's often people err in having too much, and 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 then less likely to. You know, he, this is the problem. He says that, but I'm not sure that he's saying. That. I think this is being optimistic here because if we think about it, more people are more likely to go for more. But the idea is that for the most part, few people will err, and, and, and if they do err, it's going to be in one direction that is too much. Uh, for to eat random things or to drink until one is overfilled is to extend the quality that accords with nature, since uh, the natural desire is uh, for the satisfaction of need. So the, the natural need, the natural desires that. In that sense, that is, I have a need, I have a want, I have a want, I have a need. And therefore, it's not going to be, from the point of view of just satisfying the natural need in that stuff, right? Then you are, but if you, you know, maybe at, 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 this is what he says, that you're not going to necessarily go over that, uh, uh, exceed the quality according with nature since natural desire is, is the satisfaction of need. Hence, because once you don't, once your need is satisfied, you don't need it anymore. That's the whole character of need, right? 
you lack. Need is a lack. And once there's no lack, you don't need it anymore. Hence, these people are said to be gluttons on the ground that they gorge themselves beyond what is needful. And those who are extremely slavish become people of this sort. So therefore, people who are extremely slavish to their desires and the, the, the sense. The unfree. This is the unfree. The unfree in that sense. Uh, they are extremely slavish, pe become people of this sort. They, they simply cannot, they, they go beyond what is need. They just can't, it is not, they want more. They want more and more, and they want the pleasure that more gives. With respect to the in, uh, in, in, in idiosyncratic pleasures, many people err in, in many different ways. So therefore, they, they many, uh, these odd things, they will err in what they will many will, in other words in this pleasure many people will err and in different ways for though the lovers of this or that sort of thing are said to enjoy what they ought not or to enjoy something <clears throat> more than they most people do or in a way they ought not the licentious succeeds in all these ways so therefore the licentious ones is 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 they in other words they, uh, except it, 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 idiosyncratic pleasures, they err in what? For they love uh, this or that sort of things uh, uh, are said to enjoy what they ought not. So they, they enjoy what they ought not. Or to enjoy something more than most people do. Or in a way they ought not. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is licent. This, is, this becomes licentiousness in that sense. For they both enjoy things they ought not. These are hateful things. And if they enjoy some of the sort of things one ought to enjoy, they do so uh, uh, more than they ought to or than most people do. So therefore, they, they ought to enjoy the wrong, things that are hateful. They enjoy things that people you shouldn't do. You're enjoying things that you should not do in that sense. Right? The licentious are people who enjoy the things that you should not. Okay? Or you... It, if there are things that most people enjoy, they do so what? They do so more. Uh, they do so more than they ought, and or more than most people do, right? In excess, right? Uh, uh, that the excess with respect to pleasure is licentiousness, and is blameworthy. Then it's clear. In other words, in other words, it, this is the excess in respect to pleasures that is licentiousness is blameworthy. Concerning pains, uh, so therefore in pleasure, this is concerning pains. It is not for enduring them, as in, as in the case of courage, that the person is spoken of as moderate, nor is he spoken of as licentious for not doing so. Rather, he is spoken of licentious for being pained more than he ought to be because he does not attain the pleasures, uh, his pleasures, in other words, and for him, pleasure produces pain as well. Um, in other words, in other words he, doesn't, he doesn't get as much. He's pained by not getting as much as he wants. He's spoken of in the sense for being pained more than he ought to because he does not obtain the pleasures. And for him, pleasure also produces pain as well. You get some pleasure, but no in that sense, right? Whereas the person who is spoken of as moderate uh, 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 whereas a person is spoken of, of as moderate for not being pained by the absence of pleasure and for abstaining from pleasure so therefore he's he's in other words he he knows this pleasure that it's um, that the, if I do this thing I know I will get pleasure from it but it's wrong to do that's why he gets he abstains from it he abstains from what he ought not to do or ought not to enjoy, right? Get pleasure, things like that. Ought not to do this. Um, he is abstained, uh, 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 in other words, he, the person is spoken of in moderate for not being pained by the absence of pleasure. In other words, I'm not getting that. I, I, I know I'll get more pleasure if I do it, but if I do so, it'll be harmful to me. So I abstain from getting more pleasure, for getting this ple this pleasure because it will be harmful for me, or 
if I do this, it's shameful, okay? In other words, it's bad in that sense. And it was, I, I will get pleasure from doing that, but no. So that is the, my, uh, 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 and this also deals with shame, right? But this is the question of shame. That moder sophosune in this as moderation may lead people not, because remember, it's the pleasures and the pains of things that drive men to do shameful things, right? And therefore, the willingness to not to say to, okay, here, the pain of not getting the pleasure of things that I ought not to do is a kind of moderation. Mm -hmm. So this is why it's odd in that sense, right? He continues, right? He says the person who's spoken of as moderate is not being pained by the absence of pleasures and the same pleasure. The licentious person then desires all the pleasures or especially the pleasant ones. And he's led by his desire so that he chooses these instead of other things. In other words, the licentious person desires, he is what? He likes the pleasures he gets in excess. He, he desires those pleasures uh, uh, than the other pleasures. In other words, he, he's excessive. In other words, he desires all the pleasures, or especially these very the pleasant ones, right? And he's and he's led by his desire so that he chooses these and chooses doing other things. He is pained both by failing he is pained both by failing to obtain his desires and by desiring itself. So the double pain. He, he, he desires it, but he doesn't have it yet, right? He desires it, but he doesn't have it. But he, he, he gets, uh, he is pained by both failing to obtain his desires and desiring himself. For desire is accompanied, desire is accompanied by pain. Desire is, and that is, there is this aspect that pain, because why? Desire is the awareness that you don't have something you want. And the not having it is, a lack, and that lack is kind of a pain, right? That you want it filled. That's a kind of a pain in that sense, he's saying. Uh, for desire is accompanied by pain, though it seems strange to be pained on account of pleasure. Right? So that's why is that the case? He says, those who are deficient, when um, those who are deficient when it comes to pleasures, and enjoy them less than they ought, do not arise very often. Because this sort of insensibility is not characteristic of a human. Even the rest of the animals distinguish among their food and enjoy some but not others, right? Everyone does this. Right? In other words, it's not someone who's going to what? That we don't, insensible, we're not going to do something. Um, those it's this this deficient when it comes to pleasures and enjoys them less than they ought uh, 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 do not arise often. Why? Because this insensibility is not characteristic of a human person, and even the rest of the animals distinguish among their food and enjoy some but others. And if there is someone who is uh, whom nothing is pleasant, or who does not distinguish one thing from another. He would be far from human. This idea that we have to have people who, who there, uh, there, is n uh, there is someone whom nothing is pleasant. And who does not distinguish one thing from another. Like this is more pleasant than that, or that is not. In other words, this is more pleasant and that is not. I prefer this and I prefer that, right? The, this, the, the twofold, that's, that, that you get no pleasure something that you get no pleasure, there's nothing you get any pleasure from. And two, you do not have a preference. This would be far from human. If nothing is pleasant and who does not distinguish one thing from another. And, prefer, and by distinguishing, this distinguishing means preferring one to another or getting more pleasure from one thing or another or getting more... Uh, 
getting less pain, pleasure and pain, right? And this sort of person has not obtained a name because he does not arrive often. It's this insensible one. That's why this, this type of characteristic doesn't get really a name. It's nameless. This is why insensibility is kind of the word that Aristotle gives to it, right? The moderate person takes the middle path, the sophosunos, the sophosunos, the, the wise minded one, the, so, the, the, the moderate person, sophosunos takes the mod, uh, middle path with respect to these things. In other words, okay, what he's just talked about is the one who has, who's insensible and then the other is licentious. So the, in other words, it's, it's, it's between that one who takes no pleasure or finds no pleasure and takes no discernment of play, per, preferring one over another versus that's, this, this is insensible that has no real name versus the licentious, right? That, that overindulges, that it goes to excess and uh, enjoys the things he ought not to and the ways he ought not to. The moderate person is his middle path, respect these things. He does not take pleasure in those things that are, uh, he does not, not take pleasure in those things that are particularly pleasant to a licentious person. In other words, the things that are, that the licentious person desires things one ought not to desire and gets pleasures from things that one ought not to. So he is what? He doesn't have, he doesn't get pleasure. In other words, the, the moderate man and that are different in terms of what they get desire from, what is pleasurable for them. They will desire different things. This is why he distinguishes the licentious from the moderate, the sophosunos. The sophosunos is, is moderate and is the middle path in terms of this, but he's also, you know, he doesn't like the same things. He doesn't desire the same things that the licentious person wants. The licentious person desires things he ought not to, and in ways he ought not to. And, 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 and you know, and this is the problem here, right? And rather, in other words, he does not take pleasure in those things that are particularly pleasant to this person, licentious person. Rather, he is disgusted by them. You know, he looks, what gives them great pleasure gives him disgust, right? And in general, the mother person does not take pleasure in things he ought not, or in things, or in any such thing as an excessive degree. In other words, he doesn't, in other words, he, he doesn't take pleasure. If, if you have to, in, in other words, things that require excessive degree of things, he prefers not, he doesn't take the pleasure in the excessive degree. He'll take some, uh, he'll enjoy it something, but not in excess, right? He'll enjoy it. He will enjoy it to that point where it's not it, not excessive. But then when it becomes excessive, he doesn't enjoy it, okay? So, uh, and when pleasures are absent, and when pleasures are absent, he neither feels pain nor a result, uh, 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 as a result, nor desires them, okay? In other words, some things that, that the, the excessive things. He doesn't feel pain by not having that pleasure of an excess uh, or things like that. When pleasures are absent, well, he's not getting pleasure. He does not feel pain as the result, nor desires those pleasures. He has a longing for the, those pleasures in that sense. Um, uh, or does so only in a measured way and not more than he ought or when he ought not, or anything of this sort in general. So he, he may desire, okay, I may want him, but not in an, ex it says what? Okay, he, he either doesn't want them, if he doesn't have, he doesn't want them, or he does, he wants them only in a measured way and not more than he ought, and, or when he ought not to, or anything in this sort, right? Uh, uh, but as for all the pleasures that are conducive to health and good conditioning, right, these the moderate person of Sophosunos will long for it in a measured way as he ought. So he will long for the things that are, you know, the good things, the useful things, the, the health and good conditioning, the useful things here, the beneficial things. The, the sophosunos, the moderate person, will long for these in a measure. He would not go extreme, but he'll, he'll, he'd, he'd want them. 
as you are. And he will long also for such other pleasures that do not impede the healthy pleasures. In other words, he, he will have a longing for the other pleasures as long as those pleasures do not impede the healthy pleasures or are not opposed to what or so the, the, this, this conditions here. Those uh, longing for those other pleasures, uh, uh, open uh, being, the openness of desiring those other pleasures, are first tied to what what is healthy, right? Does not impede healthy pleasures, or is not opposed to what is noble, right? Does not um, uh, 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 the the, the colos, the colos, the colon, the nobles, the noble, the, the beautiful. Okay, these noble and beautiful things, uh, things. In other words, if it's not right to do, it's not, the, these are not, no, in other words, opposed to the noble. These pleasures are not noble. They're ignoble. No, you shouldn't do that. Okay. Un, un, or to strip his resources. In other words, I, I, I can't afford it. I don't have the means to do this. The means, um, uh, 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 the means to do this. Um, so I don't, it, I, I, in other words, I know, I might like it, but I'm not going to desire it too strongly because I know I can't afford it. I can't afford to engage in that. I understand I might that might be good and it might be noble, but I just can't do it. In other words, the first condition is not healthy. The first criteria is that it's a, it's contrary or harmful to the pleasures, the healthy pleasures, the, the, the pleasures of the body, right? What is good for our body, what's good for our uh, the body. Then the second is the noble, right? The question of what is noble and just, not noble and good. And then the next level, uh, beautiful, noble and beautiful, right? The good, which is kind of a conception of the good. And then the next criteria is what that of, I, I just can't afford it. Beyond my ability means to do so, my resources. For he, is dis, uh, for he who is disposed to the contrary is fond of such pleasures more than their worth. Whereas the moderate person is not of this sort, but is but is as correct reason commands, the right reason, right reason, true ortho ortho, not right reason, ortho ortho logos commands, uh, correct reason commands, as reason commands, as reason correctly commands. Um, as the moderate person is not of this sort, but is guided by, by uh, uh, is commanded by correct reason, is commanded by correct reason in this sense. In other words, he's not going to, sub sub the moderate man or the sophosunos is guided by right reason, correct reason in this sense. He is disposed to what is, in other words, the, uh, uh, the, the sentience is, uh, he is disposed to the contrary, is fond of such pleasures more than they were. In other words, go, they be, go beyond what is what we, we, we want. Uh, we want it so bad that we will destroy our resources. We will want it so bad that we will do ignoble. Uh, 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 we, we want it even, uh, even if it's ignoble or, or uh, ugly. Um, um, uh, 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 it's, it's an opposite, a colossus, right? Uh, and we do it even it harms us. It physically harms our lives. This is that in that sense. Uh, that is the opposite. It's beyond right reason. Go beyond. It doesn't uh, re correct reason. What reason correctly tells us, commands us to do. Uh, whereas the moderate person follows correct reason and therefore does not do those things. Okay. This is how we end this chapter here of this, where he continues it. Our, this will be the. This is the penultimate chapter. Next chapter. Will be chapter twelve. We'll end book four and our account of Sophosune and uh, uh, focus on by. I think it's going to focus on by senselessness. Um, and Sophosunos. Uh, uh, any questions or comments? Please put them there, and I'll respond to them when I see them. If you have uh, any other issues regarding this thing, and uh, this, again, please put them below, and I, I'll respond to them when I see them. Um, if you like the chapter, like this, this is what we've done today, and this topic, hit the like button. Please hit the like button. Uh, helps us to grow. Uh, please share it on social media, social accounts, share it to a friend, send it out there. If you've not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Um, if you know somebody who is, okay, what subscriptions do is that you get notifications and, uh, of future videos and things like this. 
but also um, it helps the channel grow. So if you know, if you've not done so, please do so. And if you know someone who might be interested in consider encourage them to come watch and subscribe. I like to build the channel. We're getting close to 400. We're getting, we're building on the gate to 400 people. So oh, oh no, I like to build. Uh, uh, someone says uh, I should, I should have done this years ago, uh, 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 much more years ago, a decade ago or so. Maybe I'd be having more viewers. But yeah, uh, YouTube is kind of less interested in this these days. And uh, so, um, and you know, search. Uh, I'm going to do my search keys aren't work, working right. Uh, that's it. Um, if you have any comments or questions, you can put it there. Um, oh, if you didn't like it, what you did, you can always hit the thumbs down. But say why in the comments. What's what's wrong? What what you didn't like? What you thought didn't, didn't highlight good enough? Uh, this way, everyone can learn. Uh, get, other people can learn through this. Okay. Another thing is that if you want to follow me on social media, the links are below. If you want to know about, more about me as an academic and what I do as an academic and things like that, you want to see my scholarship, you can follow the social media academic social media links below the social media links. And if you want to help me to do what I do here financially a little bit, you know, you can do so uh, um, you can do so through subscribe star Patreon. You can also, you know, or you can do so by buying one of my books down there. You can go through your bookstore and your local bookstore or through a, 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 an online seller like Amazon or Barnes and Noble. Um, and I'm doing so will help. I mean, particularly if you buy the, those of you studying Aristotle's politics, might want to buy the, that notebook by Aristotle by, by Lulu because that way Lulu gives you me the price that the bookstore will get. Well, that's it. Um, uh, I hope everything's all right. Um, take care and um, we'll continue next time on the last chapter of book three and finishing up the discussion of uh, uh, book three, chapter 12, where we finish up the discussion of uh, uh, moderation or so Take care. Bye bye.